Um, first of all, I've seen you on Broadway in The Lion King. You were just spectacular. Oh, thank you and so it, much. You were, you know, it's a great, it's another great Disney. I had um, a great supporting cast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you certainly did. <laughs> yeah, I did. You certainly did. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Mr. Wright, I've seen you in an incredible amount of things uh, on Broadway in The Lion King, and you're well known um, as one of the premier um, singing voices in Disney films. Sebastian, the role of Sebastian, is probably one of the most popular Disney roles of all time, at least in my opinion. Yes. I was extremely, I love your part. You were just so heartwarming and you were just, it's such an adorable um, part. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it must have been like the role of a lifetime to, to do this. Well, role. yes, it's turned out to be that way, mm -hmm. the role of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wanted to work for Disney, right? Disney animation and Disney films. and. When the opportunity uh, gave itself to me, I, I, I took it with relish, mm -hmm. and, and as you know, we were entering a new renaissance with Disney, mm -hmm. and, and, and everybody was working really hard on this film, and uh, magic came together in a moment in time and produced The Little Mermaid, mm -hmm. which of course is a striking event in my life, along with all the other things that have happened, but boy, this one is stellar. I heard you auditioned um, like you were singing on a Broadway musical. It was uh, like, the, in, and that impressed them so much. Well, I when I when I met Howard and and, and Alan, mm -hmm. they had three day old uh, three day old growth beards because mm -hmm. they had been writing. They had been shoved in a little room on Forty Second Street and Eighth Avenue. Oh wow! And that's where I went to do the audition. Right. And I walked in the door and I said to them, I said, "Okay, uh, this song is a little slow because it was <laughs> slow in the beginning. It was right. more ballady like." I said, "Can I speed this up?" So Alan looked at me suspiciously and said, well, what do you mean speed it up? Mm -hmm. And Howard said, no, 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 let, let, let him try it out, let him try it out. So Alan sped it up and I sung under the sea and I jumped mm -hmm. on tables and I flipped <laughs> around. I'm sure they thought I was going to kill him or something. And after I finished, they actually looked at me and said, ha, don't call us, we'll call you. Really? <laughs> yeah, literally. Really? And a year later, I thought it was over. I thought right. I'd just blown the whole role. Uh -huh. And a year later, I got a call. Fantastic. Well, yeah. they were so impressed. From what I read, they were so impressed with your your audition that they they knew you were the one for the role. But they originally cast it differently, yes. I think, and they had a different style. It was a, like you said, a slower style. Yes, yes. He he was a turtle in one particular. Point. Oh wow! I don't know how he could have been a turtle? But one of the greatest things about Howard was that Howard has an affinity for calypso music, mm -hmm. as we see, uh, uh, specifically music of Trinidad, right, and. I couldn't do a Jamaican accent. Mm -hmm. I didn't know really? how to do, No, I couldn't do a Jamaican accent. I could do a Trinidadian accent. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people don't know that there's a difference, but right. those of you who do know <laughs> that there's a difference. Got it. Um, and I started doing this accent, and uh, he, Howard said, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm sorry. I can't do a Jamaican accent. He said, no, 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 no. That's the accent mm -hmm. I want. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh, because mm -hmm. he had spent time, apparently, in his life on the island. Got it. And and that's the, the sound he wanted. It's a little softer than, than Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as hard as, as, as a Jamaican accent. Right. Well, it was a, it's a beautiful accent. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. And, and which song do you prefer? I mean, Kiss the Girl is, I'm partial. I love Under the Sea, yeah. but I love Kiss the Girl. Those two songs. Yeah. I mean, I, I watched it several times before coming today. Yeah. It's just so adorable. I like the, I love the lyrics in mm -hmm. um, Under the Sea. Mm -hmm. I love the lyrics. Right. Uh, I love the musicality of, uh, the, the music in me, the Broadway in me loves. Mm -hmm. There you see it. Right. I love that. You know, it's just a, such a beautiful, lilting phrase. And yeah, so I love both of them. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why both of them were nominated. Yes. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. That was magic in itself that both songs, but I could have won either way. <laughs> you could have. No, I couldn't have. <laughs> well, I wish you had. I wish you had. But you had some other sequels to The Little Mermaid. There was like, and you have your own oh, CD yes, too, like yes. Sebastian's. It's like a. Yes, a whole... Sebastian uh, and, and myself uh, became separated somewhere along the line. And I became his human companion, Sam. Mm -hmm. So then they could do videos of, of me 
running around with Sebastian and the kitties and having a great time. Those kitties nowadays, they send me back letters. They are grown with children. Uh, right. Kids that were in of the course. videos, grown. Yes. It's amazing. And, and we did a lot of, we did prequels and we did, we did a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. I just remember through the years, my whole life has been completely inundated with the character, which yes. is okay with me because he is part of me. That's great. Well, he's a, he's one of the, the most popular of all the Disney characters. Oh. I, in fact, he's my favorite character of all Disney films. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, so when much. when they asked me to, to to interview you, I was beside myself with Lee oh. because I mean, he's he is the cutest it, character. He, he is the cutest character. And, and I think that's a great compliment because he looks like me. <laughs> yeah. He's got little bags under his eyes. He's, he's supposed to look like me, actually. When, yeah. Disney, when Disney films, right. they film you during your work. And then they animate it. So everything that you did, <laughs> they put into the film. Now. Right. See? That's very cute. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, he is very popular. When I told people that I was going to be interviewing you today, they were like, that is so cool. They were really excited for me. They probably think I'm about this tall. <laughs> no, no, you they know. You I'm 6'3". <laughs> okay, no, they obviously know it's your voice, not, you know, that you're not an animated character, but, you know, it, it's, a very, it's a very popular character. Thank you. And um, the singing is so beautiful in all the songs that you, you know, you sang in the show. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you. I, I will tell you, uh, I had a great leader. Howard was just brilliant and knew exactly what he wanted and um, he let me go. I was one of the first actors that was, I call, uh, uh, an ad-lib actor in the, in the animation because an animation is so specific. You have to be a specific voice to, to film. But after a while they said, Sam, we know we told you to not do all of this stuff, but could you come back and do all of those squiggles and wheels and things that Sebastian do, mm -hmm. and we'll stick it in the film. That's great. And I went, oh, and I saw it, and I went, oh, my goodness, it did work. Because mm -hmm. I'm an actor. I'm not a voiceover actor. Right. I'm just a... You've done a lot of Broadway. Yeah. I've seen a lot of Broadway that yeah. you've done as well. Yeah, I have one of the dubious honors of being a Broadway baby. Mm-hmm. That means I've done a certain number of shows. I've done sure. over 18 Broadway shows. So. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, I spent my life there. Which I was your favorite that. Broadway show? I mean, I know you played Mufasa on Broadway and Lion King, but of all the shows you've done... I've done? Now, I get asked that question a lot, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be very honest about this. You like them all? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the one that I'm doing at the time. That's right. That's true. Because as soon as it's over, you have to get rid of it. You mm -hmm. can't retain that all that information True. and then reestablish some more information again. So, no, I, everything, the next show I do, I'll probably love it as much as Lion King. Fantastic. Yeah. Is there a show like that you would love to do on Broadway? Like if it was brought back any time in any period or any, any show from the past that you've ever wanted to do? That ever I did? Yes. Or that you haven't done that you'd like to do? I would love the opportunity to do Mary in Jesus Christ Superstar again. I oh. did it one night. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> she lost her voice, and I, I was on a backstage microphone. And, oh, that's... I don't know how to... Yeah. And I did her. <laughs> that's, really? That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. But when you're in a pinch on Broadway, you do what you have to do. Exactly. They just grab you and say, get out there, kid, do it. That's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. So, but you would like to do that? Anything else that you could think of? No, I, 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 uh, I, I love Broadway. Mm -hmm. I love Broadway, but it's a, it's, it's a rule. It is, yeah. It's a rule. It's like eight shows a week. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and it's a young man's game. Mm -hmm. When you get to be my age, you don't look forward to doing. So, do you want to do more voiceovers for different Disney films or any other films? I would. I did. I actually did another voiceover for a Disney film. I did. Uh, Dinosaur, a, Dinosaur, right? Dinosaur. I did right. the voice of Crone. Okay, they, that was brilliant. By the way, I saw that. I think oh. that oh, Dinosaur mm -hmm. Crone. Anyway, yes. never mind. Don't get me on that. I love that. But it was a great mm -hmm. movie. That I movie. So. That's the one movie that made me cry. Mm -hmm. that's, that's animated. And yeah, I love that. Movie. Yeah, me too. I saw it. I love you did. Thank did. you. Because yeah. nobody has seen it. Going, I saw it. I see every the day. Dinosaurs, you mean? I said, no, 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 no. I saw it. I loved it. It was good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you got a yeah. chance. Yeah. But what what what's next for you after you know well, anything now, coming up? Well, now I'm on a fixed income, mm -hmm. <laughs> which means that I'm retired supposedly. But um, I work hither and thither, and and I have a school. Oh. And uh, a, a theatrical school, and I have uh, a theater. 
Oh, uh, where is it? In North Carolina? No, or? it's in, it's in Walden, New York, in oh, upstate New York. Really? Yeah, yeah, oh. right here at home. And um, and uh, we have over 300 students, and um, we've matriculated two groups of uh, several groups of kids that are now out and performing. So that's what my passion is now. It's like teaching kids and giving back for all they gave to me from the Little Mermaid. That's fantastic. Yeah. So how do people find out about your, like, can you tell people how they can get involved with It's this? on a website. Okay. Just look for hvc.com. hvc.com. That's it. Fantastic. Yeah. So, but you don't want to do any more movies or anything? Um, uh, actors never say no. Yeah. They never say no. And if I'm asked, I will certainly do something. But I don't, I don't, I don't rush around and seek it so much as I used to do it when, when I was a kid. I mean, I'm a new grandfather now, mm -hmm. and I have my own little one to look after. So, um, yeah, I'd much rather be home than to be eating bagels in New York yes. <laughs> all day long and then doing a show. Yeah, got it. Yeah, got yeah. it.